fish friends I'm going to show you my grindleworm culture and I have not been culturing grindleworms long in fact I've only been culturing this for two months I already started two months ago and already I've achieved some level of success and that uh, got me thinking that if I can do it in such a short period of time a total beginner than anybody can so this is my culture I, I this is already split from the initial starter culture which came in a potting mix type medium I honestly prefer this one much better you can search all around YouTube you can see them using this also this scouring pad material but I think this one is just too dense so I just stick with the filter floss material and that works extremely well for me now my fish absolutely go nuts over this as you can see my panda corridoras which I am trying to condition so that they will lay lots of eggs absolutely go nuts over this and I've been feeding them this and I have already managed to get a decent amount of eggs and also some of them have already hatched and turned into fry although this is my I'm fairly new to grindle worms I have ventured into culturing live food before such as magna daphnia but the thing about magna is that they are too big to fit the mouths of small fry and also eventually mosquito larva will appear and I do not like that because I'm in the Philippines and dengue is a serious issue also I've cultured infusoria which is the opposite of magna daphnia and it's perfect for fry but the bigger or juvenile fish simply cannot eat this because it's too tiny I have hatched BBS also but I don't think this is cultured as considered as cultured now let's get on with our culturing tabs I've learned that the bigger the tabs the better because you can house a larger population of worms per tub and that also the tabs do not spoil as fast as using smaller containers I am just using a paper clip that I will hit one end of and poke holes into the lids of my tubs it doesn't take much heat and the paper clip goes through easily I, this is necessary for ventilation so that the air the the worms will have enough air to breathe and I made one and I need to make four more and now let's look at the bedding the bedding will comp compose of two parts the upper and the lower bedding now there is a purpose to the lower bedding and the upper bedding and I will explain to that later in the maintenance and how to maintain this culture again we need to make four more because I'm making five in total now the, the on top of the culture we need a piece of clear plastic this will simply make it easier for us to harvest the worms in the future and also it will also slow down the evaporation because the, the whole tub needs to be moistened not not flooded but moistened so this is now our tub that is completed and is ready to use let's go set this up first of all we need to moisten the container with water and I usually start with the lower I, I wet the lower bedding first and then I, I spray using a spray bottle I also spray the top bedding the top bedding does not have to be soaking wet because the grindle worms will drown if this is really wet but they like a moist environment and now that, that is actually dog food that I'm adding because these guys absolutely love dog food I tried other foods like fish food but I did not get that good result with uh, the, the pellets but when I tried this dog food it just gave me really excellent results and that small starter should be enough start this culture and in about two weeks we should have a lot of worms and then I'm doing it four more times and boom we are done 
Now, let's take a look at my already existing cultures. These ones, the containers are not so big. And that's why for the new ones, I decided to go with bigger tabs, twice the size of this one. But anyway, since this culture is already ongoing, and there is already a healthy population of worms, so this is how I manage it. I periodically check the cultures and I add food in it because uh, the moment there is no food they tend to sink to the lower bedding and some end up dying if you look closely at this one the bottom bedding as you can see there is very soiled it is because the the excrement of the worms end up on the bottom bedding and that is the purpose of the bottom bedding now you can just squeeze this out like you would a sponge filter if you really want to save on the material but since it's really cheap enough I just simply remove it clean it and replace it with a fresh bedding and then again I spray it to moisten the new bedding and then I put back the top bedding containing majority of the worms by the way the lower bedding will also have a small amount of worms probably but it's not significant to impact the overall population of the existing culture so I do not bother with that and this is it done and complete and now we need to add three pellets here to sustain the existing culture and again the food needs to be moistened so it's easier for the worms to immediately burrow inside the, uh, the dog food and they can start feeding and multiplying thanks for watching i really appreciate it please like and subscribe it would greatly greatly help me grow my channel bye